It's been six months since I started this YouTube channel and I've posted about 70 videos. In that time I've gained a lot of new subscribers so I thought I'd do a very quick summary of what I've posted over the last six months. In late January I set up the account and posted a couple of old videos just to test things out. The first real video I posted was in early February and it was about the fact that I was getting my chronograph repaired. I may have shot it with a 44 Magnum. I then posted a video about wet tumbling brass using a Harbor Freight Rock Tumbler. That's been one of my more popular videos. Also in February I posted the intro and first few videos of my powder coated cast lead hollow point testing series. That's still a mouthful. This giant test is actually the reason I decided to start the channel. I decided to conduct the test and then I decided that I would probably not be the only person interested in the results so I should post it on YouTube for the entire casting and reloading community to benefit from. In early March I posted a response to a video by Elvis Ammo about powder coating bullets and thanks to mentions by both he and Johnny's reloading bench I gained my initial couple hundred subscribers in just two days. I'm still extremely appreciative of both of them. Since then it's been several hollow point tests along with a few other random videos like assembling a PID to control the temperature in my casting pot, some casting, powder coating and reloading, and a couple other random things. I really want to thank everyone that has subscribed and also those that have taken the time to contribute in the comments section. Y'all are awesome. I still have quite a few hollow point tests to do. I also have some cast bullets loaded up for my 30-06 that I need to test out. I have a couple of fun new items on the way to my local FFL that you may see soon. Uh, lots of stuff coming up, but the pace may slow down a little bit. I've actually been out of town the last couple of weeks for work. I was out of town for a week in May, and I've been out of town for four of the last six weeks. That and the fact that my garage is my reloading room, and it's extremely hot outside right now. Well, let's just say I'll be uh, continue posting on a regular basis, but if a longer time period goes by than normal without a video, there's no need to worry. I wanted to take a couple minutes to highlight a few other channels. Most of us are familiar with channels like Fortune Cookie 45 LC, Johnny's Reloading Bench, Elvis Ammo, Thorzak 777, Full Lead Taco, The Reloader Dude, Trees A Blowin', C Max Arms. Speaking of, pray for C Max in his battle with cancer. Country Boy Prepper, Ammo Smith Reloading, who's now back after a few years off, Gun Blue 490. Vitor Lauder TV, Manny CA, or Bat Jack JW. If you're not familiar with any of those, I suggest you check them out. I'll put links to each of the channels I mentioned in the description. What I really want to do is highlight a few other channels you may not be uh, familiar with. The first is Preacher's Day Off. The Preacher does some shooting, some reloading, and also some fishing and a few other things. He also has a great sense of humor. Head over and check out West Desert Shooter. He's shooting bullets in little groups all the way across the deserts of Utah. You've likely heard of Paul Harrell. If not, definitely check out his channel. Some time ago he made a recommendation to watch a video by the Kentucky Patriot and I'm glad he did. The Kentucky Patriot puts out some great videos, has a very level head and some great information and is one of the most humble men you'll ever see on YouTube. I recently came across a channel called Lead Bullets for Life. He's casting bullets and shooting them in a variety of guns. Barn Dweller has a great little shooting range set up where he can shoot right out of his barn. I'm very jealous. You should also see his Tommy gun. I've made mention of Chris Biblis before. He has some very innovative ideas and recently demonstrated how to make your own lab quality black powder. Tim Robinson has been cranking out the videos lately. He's got a goofy sense of humor that I really appreciate. He also just started a great series where he's loading ammo with several different Alliant powders that only have published load data for shotgun shells. Measuring Grains has one of the best names on YouTube. He also has some great videos. Uncle Jim has a number of fun toys with suppressors, etc. You should go find his video about using cheap paint brushes as gun cleaning tools. Also, he doesn't think so, but personally I think he sounds a bit like Jack Nicholson. You have to let me know what you think. 
The Bullets for Freedom channel just started, and he's already got some casting and powder coating videos posted. So did the Reloading from the Hot Pot channel, and he also has some casting and powder coating videos posted. The Backyard Inventor has some great tips and tricks for reloaders. Check out his recent video where he modified a collet bullet puller to be able to pull little handgun bullets. And finally I want to mention the New York City Reloader. New York City is a hard place to be a legal gun enthusiast, but the New York City Reloader is and wanted to contribute to our community despite being behind enemy lines. He's only got a few videos up, but they're great quality. Of course this is not an exhaustive list, and I know I failed to mention a bunch of great channels. If you have a channel you believe would be of interest to this community, or if you know of other channels, please make mention of them in the comments. Again, it's been six months since I've started posting videos, and this channel has grown more than I could have imagined. I'm extremely grateful to all of you. Thank you for the support, thanks for watching, and God bless.